السلام علیکم ٹوڈے وی ول لرن ہاؤ ٹو یوز کیمرا فار ڈرائنگ اسٹرکچرز اینڈ دیئر میکانزمز ان کیمسٹری اور اٹ کین آلسو بی یوز ایز ان بایولوجی بٹ وی ول کیپ آور فوکس آن دا اسٹرکچرز ان کیمسٹری ہیئر از اے مین ونڈو آف کیمرا پروفیشنل سکسٹین ہیئر اٹ از اے مینیو بار وچ شوز فائل it is new document or we want to open a previous saved document we have already opened a new document it is a blank document then there is edit these are the same option as are in, in every microsoft word or excel or every document file here is view it is important it shows main toolbar bio polymer bio dry journal toolbar which we have here then style toolbar font size or font style superscript italics etc then object structure and here are the periodic table if we will click any of these and the relevant toolbar window will be opened here it is template here are a large number of templates which we don't need to draw these can be inserted as such for example here is nano tube these are the nano tubes if we will click here this will be appear here uh, it seems quite a difficult structure and it is not easy to draw it manually Uh, so we can use templates and if we want to remove it or delete it simply it is marquee to select tool select and press delete on your keyboard it will be deleted hey, then there is object it is to align fixed length or angles then there is a very important option that is structure Here, it is, here are different uh, options in it, but we will focus our first option to study that is convert name to structure. It, is, it should be the first option for every student, for be, even for our beginners to convert name to structures. If we will click here and we type cholesterol and okay here it is a cholesterol each short key on keyboard is shift ctrl n if we will write picric acid here it is picric acid make sure you, that you have typed correct name so it is a very easier one to uh, draw any structure just write its correct name in uh, convert name to structure and your structure will appear here and next is to delete and see our other options here are the text to uh, flush right left or curved arrows and now let's see this menu first these are it is marquee and less so marquee is used to select the whole molecule in a rectangular or in a square shape while less so help us to select a particular shape of in a given molecule okay then there is disconnection or fragmentation tool here it can be used in disconnection approach or in mass spectrometry it shows a different fragments for example if we have here Uh, so these are the two fragments and their molecular mass is a chemical formula is given 
and this uh, compound was formed disposed by two fragments and we will press control z that will undo the action then here are the bonds single double hash wedge the solid wavy these are all the bonds here we can draw bond whichever we want to draw here is solid bond here it is wavy bond okay next is here is a text option we can write any formula in it h to so4 just suppose issues for but it is it does not look like a formula so we will select here and this uh, ch2 small ch2 will be a uh, clicked and it uh, will be taken as formula as the camera do not know that we want to write a text or a formula so we will have to select and this press this formula tab for example we write, we can write any heading or text so here it is simple text then there are arrows here are different arrows the single headed arrows on one side it shows the reactants to product one sided arrow then these are mechanisms arrow these are fish hook or uh, electron curve, uh, curved arrows which shows the transfer of one electron here are also the single headed arrow these are the for the equilibrium arrows these are broken arrows which shows that there is uh, no reaction these are resonance arrow we can draw select and draw any arrow here then there are orbitals and then there is a drawing here it is drawing if we want to draw a line here or square or a circle we use this tab suppose we want to draw a line we use this tab don't use this uh, a single bond to draw a line here we will have to draw like this this uh, red sign shows that uh, the valency is not satisfied or our structure is broken or not correct so these are the bonds and this is a line so keep a difference in between these two suppose we are deleting everything to take our new options here is a charge positive negative free radical here are the templates cyclopropane butane hexane heptane yeah, are chaired form here we uh, click the chair form of cyclohexane and when we will click here the chair form will appear here it is benzene we click benzene we can draw first is to use already given templates so that there is no mistake and all these bonds are very symmetrical the structure is very symmetrical next is uh, we can have some modifications in it for example if we want here it is toluene another option is structure first we have seen that name to structure we have already seen it in start now we will uh, see convert structure to name for this purpose select this and go to structure and convert structure to name all control it is toluene we, we we can write this like uh, if we want to put here c a3 then it is the uh, same toluene c once again if we want that the c a3 must appear here so we will bring our cursor to this point it will be a light blue color so it means that it has been selected if we press c on our keyboard it will be c a3 
if we want to draw other bond then we select and single bond can be drawn if we want to draw double bond then select the single bond and click it will be double bond here if we want to write OH then select this carbon and write O the valency will be automatically adjusted here we want to write O and the name is changed to benzoic acid suppose we want to write its reaction then press text put positive sign by using keyboard remember that these positive and negative signs are for the sim and for the charges on elements don't use these positive or negative charges uh, in reactions suppose if we want if we will write positive it will show a red circle around it which shows that it is wrong here so we will delete by using this eraser we will positive then write sodium hydroxide and AOH then arrow Suppose we want to use the right sodium benzoate and I sodium benzoate. Here it is sodium benzoate. I generated its structure. And then you want to write plus and here it is H2O we will select and the press formula and then here is it to another option is that if we want this to to come in subscript then we can use this subscript if we want this to in superscript we can use this superscript and we can change color from here these are the same justified left line right line tabs these are the And suppose we want to draw curved arrows, uh, select curved arrow from here. And suppose we have select OH, it will attack on H. Suppose we want that this oxygen, this double bond or uh, electron pair to be placed on oxygen, it will be here. So these are the uh, writing of reaction or a formula. Here is another option. Suppose we have this reaction, we go to structure, and here is uh, clean up structure. Let's these are the already cleaned, and let's see some other structure. Suppose we have this structure, it is it has no symmetry. Here it is, we attach the benzene ring here. Suppose we want to align it in a regular way and select it and go to structure and it is clean up structure here it is clean up structure when it's uh, it's uh, short keys control shift k it can be done into other forms and when we will press uh, it's a structure to name I'll control and then the name octyl benzene is generated here it is very easy to use for example we have some structure like this sometime we want here and we bring sometimes students bring this bond to uh, near another carbon bond and it seems that it has joined but it is not joined to each other so there are these red symbol which shows that the uh, it is incorrect here is another option to draw a long chain for example here is a long chain and we want to uh, suppose uh, we want, do not want uh, this structure, we want to write exact number of carbon and hydrogen, then Q 
click here and press CH2. Suppose at, at this end, uh, we do not write, want to write uh, C carbon and uh, CA3, we want to write chlorine. At both carbon and chlorine, we will start from C. So, if we uh, will press shift uh, C, here will be chlorine instead of carbon. And similarly, uh, sodium and nitrogen will both uh, start from N. So, if we will press N uh, as in here, just suppose we want to, we select it and we press N without shift, it is NH2. And if we will press shift and N, that will be sodium, automatically sodium. Here are these uh, some uh, basics of uh, cam draw and uh, then how to use the first uh, first option is to save as such these structures and uh, second is there if we want to put this structure in a word file simply select it in control c copy this is a word file already opened here we paste it here And next time, when we will open from here, from Word, then it will be automatically opened in another cam draw file. Suppose it is our file, we want to have some changes, we want to uh, erase this NH2, this CI3, the valency will automatically be adjusted. And now, if when we will close it, uh, the changes will be in word file. Suppose uh, we have mistakenly did it, so control Z can bring the original uh, structures back. Similar uh, process or structure uh, can be drawn in PowerPoint files here are the some here are some structures if you click them these will be automatically opened in cam draw and we can have some or some deletion or some changes in it or whatever we want or we want to write them uh, to react in a reaction we can do our work here and when we will close it and the changes will appear in PowerPoint and these are all ab about basics of uh, Cam draw, how to draw structure, right name uh, and from name to structures, from structures to name, clean up structures and different types of arrows, reactions, mechanisms and templates. If I have missed something, you can ask me in the comment section and don't forget to give your feedback. That's all about Cam Draw Professionals.